सो हाई डियर पाइस इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल लव रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द पाइस सन मून विनस राइजिंग Keep in mind, this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed. Also, third thing, this is a reading from first till the seventh of May. And uh, let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Pisces. Let's see what is happening. The person that you're connected with, their feelings for you right now are. We got the page of swords. So somebody's spying on you from a distance. Somebody who's at a distance from you, they they're spying on you, kind of gathering all the knowledge about you. Okay. and somebody feels like uh, you are free and you are single and you are kind of living your life to the fullest in some cases this person feels like taking a leap of faith with you and that is why this person is gathering all the knowledge about you it could be very much possible that this is a new and new newish person or newish kind of energy that's interested in you so, so that's why they are kind of keeping an eye on you from a distance let's clarify the page of swords gemini libra aquarius uh, energy you might be dealing with even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only We have the Queen of Wands, the Fool card, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, somebody is very much attracted to you. They feel like you are a very beautiful person inside out. Okay, they feel like taking a leap of faith with you, and they feel like putting in the effort and energy to make a situation, a connection, a relationship work out between you and them. So right now, for the time being, this is pure attraction from this person's side. I don't see that much kind of loving kind of energy. I do see attractive kind of energy. Lots of attraction, lots of passionate kind of energy, feeling. uh feelings towards you and somebody definitely feels like uh, they can work out with you in this situation at least be friends with you and they can put in the effort and energy to make something serious make it something serious in the future so taurus or go capricorn you might be dealing with aries leo sagittarius or gemini libra aquarius even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now pisces 10 of cups okay so you feel like the person that you should be with that the person should provide you this happily ever after kind of energy in some cases if you are already having the kids with somebody else or, or like might be you feel like this person should take care of your kids also the next person that uh, should be connected to you let's clarify the 10 of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy uh, your energy only let's see 10 of cups so page of swords and the 9 of wands and the queen of swords Okay, what is happening here is you might be uh, dating online. You you might be chatting online to somebody, and that's happening from quite a long time. Like for some of you, it's happening from eight to nine weeks. But you are not very much sure about this because you feel like keeping this person from uh, like at a distance, or you are behaving cold and off and detached towards them because you yourself is very much wounded from inside because of a experience that you had with the some with somebody else, and you feel like the next person that should come into your life that should that person should bring you this. Uh, happiness and happily ever after kind of energy and they should take care of you as a kid and they should take care of your kids as well if you have kids also so you feel like uh, remaining cold and off and detached and not giving all of your energy to this particular situation as of now because you are kind of gathering knowledge about this person and trying to understand this person completely and uh, trying not to mess this up so you yep, going towards the situation very logically Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You might be dealing with, even if you are not just go with the energies, not with the uh, signs only. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation? Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. So they do have options in your life, Pisces. You also are having option uh, in your life, and they are also having options in their life. This person wants to collaborate with you. This person wants to have a partnership kind of energy with you. If by any chance you are talking to a past person, if you guys are already in communication and if you guys planning to come back, this person wants to have a reconciliation with you. Okay, so uh, take it how it resonates with you. Not for everyone the reconciliation part. Let's clarify the three of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person wants to collaborate with you and have teamwork with you. Let's see what is their desire intention. We have the three of swords and the knight of swords and the okay ten of wands. Okay, so this person is somebody who is coming out of a very painful cycle, or they know that you are coming out of a very painful cycle. So this person wants to rush towards you to let go of this stressful kind of energy from your life. Okay, this is somebody who knows that because of some kind of painful energy, you are not able to collaborate with them the way you want, uh, the the way you should. or they are also coming out of the same pain that that you are going through and this person can definitely understand this pain and they feel like cutting this pain cut, they want to cut this pain cut this stressful energy out of this connection out of the situation as soon as possible 
somebody wants to cut the stress out of this situation somebody wants to be with you and cut this stressful kind of energy out of this situation so okay if you are somebody who got betrayed because of a third party so you are going to end up meeting a person similar kind of energies that uh, that uh, that were hurt because of that kind of situation in their life in some cases and in some cases this person knows that you are going through a very very painful kind of energy and you need healing you need their uh, like uh, uh, support so they are ready to do that they want to uh, give you the support and give you the healing that you need in this situation to let go of this stressful kind of energy if there's no one around you that you are dealing with you are soon going to meet this person it could be younger person to you it is the same it it, it is going to be the person that's uh, going through the same kind of shit that you are going through okay aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio this new person wants to be with you and wants to you know heal you wants to heal the situation and wants to provide you the support that you need it's a really beautiful kind of energy coming towards you let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation 10 of wands you don't want any kind of stressful energy in a relationship uh, as of now you are in this energy of okay i don't want any kind of stressful energy i just want to drop the stressful uh, connection stressful situation that i was experiencing and i just want to start uh, my life with a fresh clean slate let's clarify the 10 of wands aries your sagittarius energy we have the ace of wands eight of cups see the the high priestess so uh, as of now you are not prepared for any kind of new relationship or new connection or new situation as of now you just want to walk away from anything that's uh, too good to be true okay and you just want to gather all the knowledge and gather all the strength from within yourself so that you can understand whether you want to be with this particular person or not so you want to drop the stressful kind of energy of being in a situation or relationship and that much quickly and you want to walk away from anything that's looking uh, too attractive or too good to be true and you just want to keep your things to yourself and gain all the strength and all the knowledge about the situation then only making it work out uh, uh, or not working out so that kind of energy so then only making the decision you can say about the situation so cancer pisces scorpio aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with even if you are not just go with the energies let's see what is coming towards you till the 7th of may pisces Ten of Swords ending. You will be turning your back towards something or someone because of a breakup or separation, because of a past experiences that you are still holding on to. You will not be able to connect with the person or with a new energy. Even though a new energy, a new person, new situation is around you, you are not able to be with them. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, or you might end up ending things with the new energy also because you are not prepared. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Knight of Cups, Hermit, and the Eight of Wands. So you will be holding back any kind of communication message or commitment, or you know, even though even uh, even though even though you feel like uh, uh, like this person can be the happily ever after kind of person that you were looking for, you will be thinking a lot about this particular person, this particular such situation that's coming your way. Okay, but you will not be open to lots of communication or lots of clarity or lots of truth about the situation. In fact, you will be in the situation of coming out of this painful kind of energy and learning a lot of lessons from that past kind of energies and thinking a lot about the future. Not opening up to this new energy or new person just like that. You are going to give it a lot of time, a lot of energy, then a lot of thinking. Then only you will be in this energy of, okay, let me think what I can do about it. I will do the on and off communication with this person, but I, I can't be in a relationship or I can't uh, provide any kind of commitment or something like this to this person. One of you is very much ready to be in this relationship. One of you is not. And I feel you are not available for a relationship as of now. But the other energy is kind of ready. So I do see uh, like uh, on and off communication happening. And uh, messages exchanging. And uh, you are feeling good about it. But uh, uh, not jumping into any kind of relationship or situation. In fact you are kind of keeping yourself uh, under wraps. Not uh, showing much interest or not doing anything about more about it, much about it. So. It's, it's really a good thing, Pisces. You're taking your time and you're taking it slow. It's really, really good. Okay, this is going to be the outcome. Turning your back. It, in some cases, you will be in this energy of let me come back to you when I feel like I am ready. Or, you, or in some cases, you will be in this energy of okay, let me put an end to this cycle also, this particular person situation also. 
the new uh, new kind of energy and uh, i will talk to them when i feel like i'm ready so this kind of uh, situation can happen let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation pisces we have the 3 of pentacles the 4 of cups okay 6 of cups okay until unless you are not going to let go of this past person past situation out of your mind uh, the confusion that you are having still in some cases you are no more in love with the past person or past situation but you are still stuck on their energy still stuck on the confused kind of uh, energy of i don't know if i'm ever going to find a lover like a past like the past lover if i'm a, i'm uh, ever going to be happy with a new person or new energy if they are ever going to leave the third party for me if they are ever going to come back If you are going to live in this ifs and buts only, you are never going to go ahead in your life with anybody new. And if you are not going to, you know, go ahead with anybody new, you will never be able to understand whether they are worthy of your love or not. So you have to take the risk, Pisces. This is the only solution. If you are going to be stuck forever on a past situation, past person, or past happening, you will never be able to uh, go like go through the like uh, right person, go towards the right person or right situation, and have that particular growth because of which universe did all this with you. so you yourself is stopping your growth from happening if you are fearing like okay the next person is also going to do the same thing with me you will never grow in your life pisces this is the only way that we 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 humans grow okay i'm not saying you to jump into any kind of relationship or situation ship or connection with anybody new just like that you are doing the right thing but you have to let go of this confusion kind of energy and you have to let go of comparison of past with the present past is gone present is also yet to like uh, about to come it's not happening you just have the present moment so in the present moment whatever you are going to do it's going to manifest in the next moment i hope you're man- like uh, understanding my point hmm? so thank you so much for tuning in pisces i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste